Tiger Woods' induction into the World Golf Hall of Fame has been a long time coming, and when it did come, it came in the best way possible. He was presented as the newest member of the esteemed group of players by his 14-year-old daughter, Sam. Introducing her father onto the stage, she said, Dad, I inducted you into the Dad Hall of Fame a long time ago. In today's video, we'll be discussing Tiger Woods' induction into the World Golf Hall of Fame and other golf news. Stay tuned. Overview of the ceremony. The five-time Masters winner joined his daughter on the stage became weak kneed and broke down into tears while hugging her. This was the same Woods who in his prime seared his rivals en route to winning a record total of 82 tournaments that includes 15 majors. Commanding the spotlight in that incredibly poignant moment for the 46 year old, Sam, perhaps fittingly, was dressed in red, a tribute to her father who used to be turning out in his Sunday trademark red to convert his phenomenal 54 hole leads into wins. Captivating the audience, Sam recounted the day of her birth, the very same day, the 2007 US Open's final round was played in Oakmont and Angel Cabrera walked away as the champion. She told how Woods was in a position where he could have forced a US Open playoff if he could make an 18-foot putt, which he ended up missing by only just a foot. He then had to rush to the airport to catch a flight from Pittsburgh to Orlando, drive to the hospital, and within five minutes of his arrival, still wearing that red shirt. On June 18th, she was born. She concluded the story by saying that he might have lost the US Open that day, but he did manage to win the greatest of all gifts. These words brought down the house at the PGA's glittering venue, which had all of the biggest names in the PGA Tour in attendance. She was a sight to behold, dominating the biggest night of her father's career, just like he has dominated the golf course for the past two decades. The moment was so overwhelming for Woods that the teary-eyed golf legend tried to lighten the mood by saying that he lost the bet to Steve Sticker that he would not cry. And yet the most emotional moment of the night was yet to come when Sam discussed her father's early 2021 car crash that required him to undergo multiple surgeries on his right leg and has been the reason he did not feature in the entire 2021 season on the PGA Tour. Recounting her experience, she said that the family did not know if he would be coming home with both his legs intact or not. And now, not only was he going to be inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame, but he was standing there on his own two feet, and that is a testament to the fighting spirit that he has. Woods' legacy through the words of his colleagues the 2019 Masters Championship win is considered to be Woods' greatest victory because it came after he had undergone multiple back surgeries for his recurring injuries. He has become the latest inductee into the Hall of Fame for both what he has done on the golf course and also for what he has done for the game as a whole. His remarkable legacy is more than just about his dominance on the green and the resulting five Masters titles he's won and the three US Open titles to go with his three British Open titles and four PGA Championship wins. That dominance, in fact, coupled with the color of his skin, brought about diversity to a once white only sport because it inspired the same players who today own the game of golf at the moment. If we were to look at the list of some of the top players in the world right now, you would be hard pressed to find a player who was not influenced by Woods or who was not attracted towards it because of him. Current number one, John Rahm credits Woods for being the inspiration for a whole generation of players dominating the game today and for enthralling the golf world for 20 years, pulling off amazing feats one after another. Colin Morikawa, the current number two, has won two major championships in the last three years and has been beating Woods, but even he grew up watching the great. He says that he wanted to compete against him and become the number one player like Woods. Dustin Johnson, another regular figure in the top 10 players, has seen the days when golf was not considered a cool sport and kids who played it were looked down upon by their peers until Tiger Woods. According to him, Woods made the sport a cool sport and then everyone wanted to become the next Tiger. Rory McIlroy, a frequent rival of Woods, has said that he considers himself fortunate that he was able to get to know him. For him, Woods was his hero and he was glad to see him live up to his expectations of him. Number four ranked Patrick Cantley has said that all the pro golfers today owe their gratitude to Woods because if it was not for his impact, it would not be at the stage it is today. Ranked number five, Scotty Scheffler, who recently won the Arnold Palmer Invitational, said that he would watch highlights of Woods' game on YouTube and try to copy his exploits on the golf course himself. Like Cantley, he also says that Woods has changed the game of golf and the lives of all pro golfers. Other golf news, PGA Tour Commissioner breaks silence on Mickelson controversy. Jay Monahan, the PGA Tour Commissioner, spoke to the press for the first time since Phil Mickelson's controversial remarks about offering assistance to the Saudi-financed Breakaway Golf Super League came into the limelight. He said that he had not spoken with Mickelson, but that does not mean that he would not face some sort of punishment for his remarks. Mickelson had announced after his comments became public that he would be taking some time away from golf, which means he would not be featuring at the Players' Championship either. The Commissioner was asked if Mickelson had been officially suspended or was eligible for the 
the Players' Championship. Monaghan clarified that Mickelson took a break on his own and has asked for some time from the tour, which he has been afforded. He went on to reiterate that every player on the tour is accountable for their actions. He added that the ball was in Mickelson's court, and even though Monaghan would appreciate a call from him, he can't talk about potential scenarios that would play out once they talk. Monaghan acknowledges that Mickelson has been one of the most prominent players on the green in the last decade, and his 45 PGA Tour wins speak for themselves and his Hall of Fame-worthy career. And because of how much he has helped the tour grow, it is more difficult to read everything that he has said, and there has to be a conversation, and when Mickelson is ready for it, Monaghan will be ready as well. Scotty Scheffler wins Arnold Palmer Invitational American Scotty Scheffler, whose first win on the PGA Tour came only a month ago in February at the Phoenix Open, held on to take a one-stroke victory and double his PGA Tour victory tally at the Arnold Palmer Invitational in just three starts. Scheffler did fire an even par 72 to finish five under to seal the win, but at one time, he himself was in a bit of a pickle after he hit two birdies and three bogeys and was left at one over through nine holes. He started his comeback at the 12th with a five-foot birdie putt that brought him to five under before he had a 21-foot putt at the 15th. He said that he did not feel like he was swinging the clubs well today and ended up hitting quite a lot of bad spots, but because he kept at it and made some crucial putts towards the end, he ended up with a narrow win. Play at the Players' Championship suspended. The first round of the much-awaited Players' Championship faced a delay of more than four hours on the first day, and only 11 or 12 holes out of 18 had been completed for the last group of players for the afternoon before the rain returned. Of the late starters, only 24 were able to complete their 18 holes of the first round, while the rest of the 48 still had some holes left. With the disrupted progress, Tommy Fleetwood and Tom Hoge were leading the pack at 6-under, with Bryce Garnett also 6-under, having played just his first 13 holes. Saturday morning had a forecast of severe thunderstorms as well, and the weather was expected to clear out by afternoon with the winds expected to remain sustained at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Sunday and Monday had a clear forecast and Gary Young, the PGA Tour's chief referee, has said a Monday finish is a likely possibility if play could not resume on Friday. It would be the first Monday finish at the Players' Championship in nearly 17 years, with the last one happening in 2005. That's a wrap for this video. Will we see Tiger Woods reach his ominous form of past? Or is it the twilight of a glorious career? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.